¿Qué pasa, everybody? Hopefully everyone's having a good day. So today I'm going to do a quick update on the Impala. Uh, so I installed new brake lines. As you can see, right there. I bought the the brake line kit at Summit. So it came with the one in the rear end. So one, two. The one that goes from the back all the way to the little block right here. This one. Then it came with uh, two that go from the proportioning valve to the brake master and then one that goes under the motor to the proportioning valve. So the cable is for a 65 through 67. So they send you like two extra brake lines because this one only has one master cylinder right here or just one that controls the front and the back and the 67 has two one for the front and then one for the back. I'll show you guys. Oh, I just bought one. The one that has the one for this car. So, this car originally came with drum drum. Drum in the front, drum in the back. And I think that's a one and a quarter inch line. If I'm not mistaken. So this car has one and a quarter inch line from the front all the way to the back. And this kit that I got I got it for a disc brake drum. So disc brakes in the front, drum in the back. And when you do that, the disc brakes come with the 316 line. So I had to get the little adapters right there. They go from a quarter to a 316 line. And that I, I had to get three. So one for this one to this one. Let's see if I can get that away. Let's see, let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Right there. So one for this one, a quarter to three sixteenths. And then one for this one, quarter to three sixteenths. And this side just goes to the other one. I didn't replace that one because the one they gave me runs all the way to the other master cylinder that goes right here. And since this one only has one, I had to use my stock one. So I had to use one of those little adapters right there. One, two, I had to use three. So let me show you the other ones. One runs from over there to this little block right there. And then this one from there to the little block. And they also provided the one that runs from that block to the frame. So, right there. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. Do I fit? Hopefully. Oh. oh man, I need to build some grip for this car or something. Keep it up a little higher. All right. I'm just done. So right there, so it comes from the rear end, it bolts up to the frame, right there, and then I had to use another little junction, so they provide this part, they provide, provide this hose, but since I got a 316 line, I had to get a little reducer. So this is a quarter and it reduces it to a 3 16 And uh, so right there, goes all the way right there, and then runs around and dummy light. Oh all the way to the front. 
right there. All the way to the front of the motor. Ah. Oh. I need to put this car on jack stands or build some crate for it. Anyway. Alright, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to install the brake message cylinder on here. Oi. I'm going to drop that. Come on. Hmm. No. Goes right through in the front. All right, cool. So yeah, this is a single for my car. My car's a 66. So 65 and 66 came with the single and the 67 came with two. And that's why they provide the other line. But my car, since I got it, piece it all together. Mine only came with two of these. These are pressed in to uh, right here. One goes right there, the other one goes on top, but I only got two. And they're different sizes, one for the top and one for the bottom. So hardware. So I got two shorter, two longer ones. So I'll put you guys on a tripod while I put this on real quick. Alright, so here's the part number. For those of you that need this master cylinder, and also I'm clearing it. Put in a little bit of clear because if I don't, it'll start rusting. It's happened to me before, and I don't want no rust on this car. ¿Qué pasó? Ew, ¿qué pasó? This is what I'm using right here. Stupid color glass clear with ceramic. So, yeah. yeah. I'll put you guys on the tripod once I start putting it on. Just be fine with the lock in that. So let's try and get on. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Okay. So let's try this real quick. See if I can get it. I think they grabbed. Hey! Alright, and now I'm gonna do what every man would do. I'm gonna just give it to it with the impact. Hopefully it'll tighten itself up. 
and give me the yes. Oh, hell yeah! There we go. Hell yeah. There we go. Has a way of going. So, I like it like that. There it is. All right, so I was looking at this, and it looks like I'm gonna need another little uh, adapter. It's not gonna fit. So I gotta go to the parts store and get one. <sighs> oh well. It happens guys. Alright, so it's the next day. And like I was saying, in order to adapt these uh, 316 lines to your old school lines, you need those little adapters right there. And I needed to use a total of four now. I got one on the back, on the rear end, got that one right there, and this one right there. And yesterday, <clears throat> I was going to put this on here, but I needed another one right there. So I went to the auto parts store this morning, <clears throat> and I found this. Now, when I went to the auto parts store, on their little section they got for these, they were all scattered on the ground. So I don't know if this is the right box. I don't know if this is the right box for this fitting. Come on. But, you need this side to be a quarter and this side to be 3 16 so when you put it on here this master cylinder is a quarter right there and this one is <clears throat> 3 16 so Let's see if I can do it one handed Give it good. Maybe. Come on, get the yes. <laughs> so like that. So if anybody's doing this uh brake line, disc in the back or disc in the front, disc sticks, drum disc, whatever. These are the little adapters you need to adapt these or your existing uh, block right there. Where's the part number? Right there. <clears throat> Alright guys, so now I gotta bend that in there somehow. So I'm gonna set you guys on a tripod and try something out. All right, so here we go. Take this on. And now I gotta turn it from here to there. So, use a beer bottle. See if I can.
Nice. Cool. So next time, or next video, I'm gonna do the front disc conversion on this thing. So make sure you guys come back, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.